writing down reasons to quit. Smokers around the country are being asked to halt the habit and try a smoke-free lifestyle. It's for the second national Stop Toba campaign, which highlights the benefits of going cold turkey. We know if people remain smoke free for 31 days, they're five times more likely to go on and remain smoke free. So, I mean, it's a great opportunity for people to just give it a go. Around 5,000 people took part in the first Stop Toba campaign last year. Numbers have swelled this time around, with more than 8,000 smokers registered. The increase is believed to be a reflection of changing attitudes. In the 2006 census we had a, um, about 21% of our population were um, current smokers and in the last census in 2013 it's down to just over 15%. So we're tracking really well, you know, we've got a bigger goal of a smoke free nation by 2025. We were hoping that we'll have less than 5% of our population smoking. Locals who sign up to the campaign will be monitored by Southern District Health Board staff so they can stay on track. Some pharmacies are also giving out samples of a nicotine replacement to encourage customers to be smoke free. It's all about making the quitting process easier. For some people it, this attempt might be, the, might be their first attempt, it might not be their last attempt because on average it takes about 20 serious attempts for people to stop smoking. Local healthcare staff are hoping that more smokers will sign up to the challenge over the next few weeks. They say it's never a bad time to kick the bad habit. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.